Yellow Jacket Studio. Here's a couple of quick tips on how you can remember your keys. When you look at the piano, obviously besides having all these white keys, we have a definite distinctive pattern with the black keys. Two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, two black keys. So really the entire piano can be summed up in one octave, which is really just another name for eight notes. Let's start with the simple, uh, the simplest key on the piano, and I think that's D. So when you remember the D, uh, just look for the white key that divides the two black keys. And then of course you want to tap all of the Ds, D, 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 and include your voice on those keys. The reason for that is the more you repeat yourself, the faster you will, your brain will pick those up. The second key, let's focus on the E. For the E, I think a simple rule is the E is at the end of the two black keys. And again, you want to tap all of the E's on the piano and say the letter E. How about F? F is in front, in front of the three black keys. And again, you want to tap all of your F's and say F. Okay? And one other very simple key, the B key. B is the white key behind the three black keys. And again, if you, remember, if you memorize the rule for the keys, you will remember the keys very easily. So again, tap all of your Bs and say the letter B. Now we just have a couple of other letters to add to the musical alphabet. We have the C, which chases the D. So again, tap all of your Cs and say the letter C. And then we have A, which is ahead of B. And finally, our last key, G. G goes after F. So make sure that you know your keys well. If you struggle, remember the rule, memorize it, tap all of your keys, say those names, and start with the easy ones. D, 